we're your first line of defense. We are who you're going to call. We are who you're going to see when you have that horrible time in your life. The EMS services we have in the Fredericksburg area are incredible. I think we're the best in the state. EMS strong is meaning that, that uh, we're always there for one another and most importantly we're always there for the person that calls 911. We know what we're doing. Uh, you can have faith in our abilities and our training and we will take care of you. It's all I've ever done since I've been a kid and uh, I love doing it and I love helping people. I like making the difference, I like responding out to somebody when they're having the worst day of their life and making it better. It's a very difficult job. Having to be 100% at 3 in the afternoon as you are at 3 in the morning. To be there to respond for whoever's emergency and to be on your A-game all the time is very difficult. It is an internal calling, I think, that um, People see the need to help their neighbors. They want to help their neighbors. They want to give more of themselves. And this is a perfect opportunity to do that. I honestly care about the patients that I treat. And I have a mantra that I tell all of our providers and uh, wherever I work and when I volunteer out in, in, in Orange County that we need to treat all patients like our grandparents or one of our loved ones. We have a high expectation and service delivery for excellence. We like to be on the cutting edge for medicine and equipment for EMS. Stafford County has uh, the best equipment that we can provide for our providers and for our citizens, and we pride ourselves on that. It really is not just an army of one, it's an army of multiple people that, uh, that are there, that have been trained, that are training people to be there for the citizen when they need us. We've had one recently that where, we, where I just spoke about all the links in the chain of survival took place. We had a 911 dispatcher talking them through CPR. We had a deputy that was there first with an automated external defibrillator, was able to deliver immediate defibrillations. The paramedic unit and the engine company were there right away. And by the time they delivered the patient to the hospital, they were, the patient was talking to them. When 20 minutes before that, they were dead, no pulse, not breathing. Uh, so the feeling of that is just incredible. We have a very good relationship with uh, Mary Washington Hospital. We're constantly working on how to improve processes that can benefit the patient and our system. About a year ago, we implemented the first rapid sequence intubation program uh, in the Fredericksburg area in Mary Washington. It was very integral in us starting our program and actually their RSI program now has been developed into a regional RSI program. Without the partnership between EMS and the neighboring hospitals, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. We now have a heart safe community statewide program. It is a program that highlights different communities and their response to providing care for sudden cardiac arrest victims, um, healthy communities, AEDs in communities, CPR in communities, bystander CPR, things like that. We are actually just starting to partner with uh, Mary Washington Healthcare and Stafford Hospital specifically to help continue this program and get it off the ground a little bit more so that more communities in the state of Virginia are aware of it so that they can apply for it as well. My experience here has been nothing short of rewarding and life changing. I've um, brought a lot of people back from headed toward the light and that is the most rewarding thing when they can uh, continue to have Christmas with their families and birthdays with their families and I see them on the street and they remember me and I remember them and um, that just makes me feel good. I love my community and want to help the community and this is a calling. This is what I've always wanted to do and this is why I do it. Frequently when we're out in public, people are telling us thank you. That's a definitely a rewarding part of the job. I, I, I'm living the dream. This is all I've ever wanted to do and I absolutely love being a paramedic and a firefighter.